Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode from Osterham. I really do hope that you guys are doing great. I know I am. I'm inspired. I'm ready to build some more with you. In today's video, the focus is finishing off the entire inside of the city walls. By that I mean everything. We're adding all the final houses, we're adding the small bits here and there, and I've also spent a lot of time just walking down paths, uh, adding uh, small bushes, small things here and there, just to bring the entire city to life. And it's kind of insane thinking that already the interior of the city is done. Of course, we have a lot more planned for this place, but just the city center is done now, and it's amazing to think about. Now let's finish off the timeless for today, and we can get into the details of what we built. Look at this beauty right here guys. I love this place so much and I think you guys do too. Uh, you guys keep on commenting, coming with ideas, advice, feedback and all that sort of stuff. And it really helps me to, uh, to, to kind of embrace this project myself, having you guys backing me up in a way. Uh, and also just helps me get ideas for new stuff or where to take this project further. So that's a lot of fun. As you can see now, it looks like most of the interior of the city walls are done and in fact I think they are. Um, there could be some places we have missed but overall we're gonna spend a lot of time here just kind of uh, running around as we do uh, and just finishing small bits here and there. The kind of the way I finish off stuff is making it 90% uh, finished and then just coming back to it and adding tiny touches here and there. So I think uh, we're gonna keep on doing that. Basically what we've done uh, is added this section here just close up to the wall and that is basically a part of uh, the defense so it's built into one of the towers here by the way these towers aren't done or some of them are like half of them are done and half of them are not done so I'll probably do that in streams just like a little warm-up it doesn't take more than 10 minutes to finish one of these so um, we'll probably do that in the streams just go in finish that while people are joining in and then we'll continue so I think that's gonna be the the way to go about it because it's just so boring doing them on my own uh, but yeah we have this building here uh, which has uh, some different stuff built to it and then there's a stable next to that uh, for some horses which is pretty cool and uh, we can follow over here we have a little like house for some workshop uh, meant to be uh, the, uh, the back of this white building here like an extension of the workshop so has a little extra space there um, then just some gardens and yeah, overgrown stuff and then we come to uh, the gatehouse and this gatehouse here <laughs> contrary to the other ones are not like meant to protect from the outside but actually to protect from the inside uh, but of course there are battlements all around so you could defend it a little bit from the outside as well but this will lead to the castle so basically uh, you want to keep uh, the people of the city um, of kind of entering the castle without uh, permission but also if someone actually managed to break the walls or get into the city you want them to stop here or at least have a line of defense here. So this is to defend this little bridge we're gonna build eventually uh, over to this island where the castle will be. So uh, we built that also today, which was fun. Uh, I kind of asked you guys a little bit in my Discord whether or not to put stuff here in front of this. And I think we landed based on your ideas and my ideas and the research and all that stuff to keep this place empty uh, we don't want to have anything here obscuring the view for the guards on top so no statues uh, no stalls no fountains or whatever just keep it plain and open just like this uh, and then more like focusing on the minor details like these grass patches kind of indicating where people are not walking that much uh, and that sort of stuff and then there's one more thing we added today uh, which uh, if we fly over through the city here all the way around also as you can see and kind of finish off these paths around here with some f vegetation alongside the roads. Uh, actually, there are some trees here we need to finish. Uh, thinking about it. But yeah, we have this gate here which takes us into the catacombs under 
uh, temple here uh, and it's built in the same style it's just a super large fancy looking gate and uh, you can kind of see a little bit of the inside there it's quite massive uh, and it's a cool thing uh, so what we have here is this massive uh, entrance and I'll show you all of that uh, of the interior of this uh, as we go on with the video. Now let's start with this building here let's take a look at the interior and all that sort of stuff. Uh, quickly let's look at stables um, nothing too fancy but it works uh, can house quite a few horses in here uh, and all that sort of stuff and then we have this massive oak tree which is pretty cool uh, and then this building here has this first floor thing to so come in here nice and open and then there's a little lounge area for uh, the leaders of the, the guards of this place here so this is where they could sit and uh, eat and keep themselves warm so basically uh, a little yeah the the captain's quarters i guess uh, and then from here we can get into the tower itself we're going to get to that just in a little bit in here we have some storage so there are like these storage rooms small rooms just to store weapons and utilities uh, and all that sort of stuff here we have some armor as well being stored and then of course as i said next to that we have the gate which takes us upstairs uh, i have forgot the ceiling here i'll fix that uh, in here more storage um, and then we have a staircase which leads up like this and it takes us to uh, a floor inside of the tower here. There's no windows, nothing here. Uh, it's used for storage, mainly. Some armor and stuff. And then we have this staircase here, which I kind of like. I like the, the look of this. Uh, and it takes us up to the area where we defend from. So here we have the arrow slits looking down at... This will be a pretty busy spot. There's going to be a lot of boats going in and out of this narrow uh, area here. So... Yeah, kind of interesting place to stand. A big table here for the people working here, and then uh, doors taking you out to uh, the walls, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and then, oh, let's jump down. We have a staircase on the side here, which takes us up to this little place here. Uh, it's not really meant to be defended, but you could defend it a little bit if you had to. But it's more for the visuals, for the looks of it, kind of. And up here, uh, we have the flag, uh, we have a little sitting area, and some yeah crates and all that sort of stuff. But also, we can get to the second floor of this building. And this is where the guards uh, keeping uh, this tower here would be staying. So we have like an integrated wine, wine rack here, a table for them, and then some bunk beds for the guards. So, yeah, mainly like um, the... the the quarters for uh, the guards uh, for this place which is kind of cool talking about guards uh, there's going to be a lot of guards in this building over here as well which is the gatehouse so as i said uh, it, this is meant to defend from the city itself and not from the outside uh, so we have a massive gate here and then we have three massive arrow slits and then of course the crenellations all the way at the top and there's also like a mural here uh, you got to be creative here very close up it looks horrible but it's it's meant to be some kind of night or something um, just add a little bit of color to this place you know I love my colors when it comes to building now let's check out the interior here we have this staircase which takes us up to uh, this is longer than I remember there we go up to this place here we have um, here we have, uh, yeah, the battlements. So there's actually arrow slits on both sides here, just because there could be cases where they actually breach um, the castle uh, or breach the bridge or something, break the bridge and get through. So you wanted to have the possibility to defend from here, but mostly you'll focus all your effort on keeping the castle safe. But basically we have this area, some tables and storage for uh, the guards in here. Then if we go up, we have this place uh, which is more like their quarters we have seating areas um, a little kitchen for them to prepare some food and some storage uh, for weapons and all this sort of stuff and then this takes you out to the walls like so and similar on the other side you can also get out uh, to the walls here like that uh, then there are a little circus here 
which takes us up to the top, which is where you would defend from. We have a uh, flag, a big flag, and then, yeah, just some, some stuff here to bring in some detail. And a nice uh, defended top of this gatehouse here, which I think is cool. And I like the way it's a little bit smaller than, like, these gatehouses here and the other one. Uh, just because this is not a main gatehouse, this is just the first line of defense. And then we're going to have a massive gatehouse on the island here to keep the castle safe, which is going to be really cool. And now we're going to take a look at the crypts or the catacombs below the temple here. Uh, so we have this big gate um, and this little, yeah, planter on the top here with this beautiful hanging tree over the edge there. Beautiful. And then we come in here. And try to build a little bit of a lore here so you come into this initial hallway and we, we create this kind of custom lore and religion for this place and what you come in here or when you come in here you got to go up here and you got to wash yourself wash your hands wash your face to clean yourself of evil spirits and, and that sort of stuff and, and then uh, you're ready to go in here so you don't bring any any evil stuff into the realm of the dead and uh, just because you, you don't want to put that on your loved ones okay and then once you come out you're also going to go up here to this other one and clean yourself once again because you don't want to bring evil spirits from the death realm to the real world so it's kind of a cool little thing here uh, and kind of integrates nicely with this uh, initial little hallway here so clean yourself on the way in and clean yourself on the way out as a religious thing and then you come in here look at this magnificent room. I think this is so cool. It's so grand and I think it's, yeah, it's uh, so, um, I don't know. It captures me a lot. And uh, so what we have, uh, the idea is that the city is still growing, people are still dying. Uh, so there are uh, a lot of these hallways for uh, storing the dead. So come in here, storing them like that, as you can see in some of the crypts and catacombs all over this place. This is for the common people of the city. The, of course, the king would have his own um, bigger private crypt. So we have these tunnels for storing. But then there are these areas where we haven't dug out the place yet, just because uh, you don't want to dig out more than you need to. So it's a continuous progress of just kind of digging out hallways to store the dead in, which is pretty cool. Um, big vaulted ceilings in here as well. And then we have this little area here you could have sermons here like maybe I should put like a table here where they um, like they clean them and prepare them for uh, being buried that could be cool uh, I should do that uh, and this is like where they the priest uh, could um, do some talking like a ceremony uh, like that and then up here we have pictures of the goddess which is the, the main um, figurine in the religion of Osterham so we have some images of her here which is pretty cool. So that's the crypts of Osterham and I love this place. So here's another example of the tiny bits I add and uh, just to kind of bring some more life to this place. Like some small market stalls being built here just by the, the one of the gatehouses here and it makes sense there's a lot of people going by here. It's also close to the water so selling fish here would make sense and yeah pretty cool little area. Probably gonna do that some more places as well. Just adding these tiny uh, yeah, market stalls, which looks cool. In the next episode, I want to start working on this area here. I know it's been a little back and forth on what to do and uh, what uh, order to do stuff. But what I want to do now is, uh, this is episode 16. So I want to do four more episodes before I move over to the castle. Just to get some, uh, to, to break up the city building a little bit. Because it can be pretty tedious, even for someone like myself who love this thing. It's pretty hard to keep on just building houses forever. So, uh, four more episodes of building the poorer area, which is going to be on this plain area here, this uh, flat land. Um, so, the harbor is probably going to be the next thing, laying that out and planning this area. So, that's going to be the next episode. So, stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. And uh, then, of course, after episode 20, I think we're going to start over at the castle and with all that being said i really do hope that you guys enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been vigo man and i'm out